What up YouTube? Welcome to my channel Cooking with Tam Bams. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make some marinated pan seared lollipop lamb chops. Just stay tuned and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Alright so for today's recipe we're going to be doing lamb chops. I'm going to start with my marinade because you're going to need to marinate this for a couple hours in a refrigerator. I would say if you can do three hours, do three hours, an hour at the minimum. But um, I will put the uh, I will put the seasoning that I'm using in, well, the measurements back up a little bit, man. Um, so you know exactly what I'm using. And then um, once we get all of this together and mixed up, we're gonna put it in the refrigerator to marinate. If you got a bag, use a bag. I normally do, but because I'm doing this video for you guys, I am not using a bag. So you can see what I'm actually putting in here. And I did, I think this is, so the first one was six, five, five. So I think this is 11 lamb chops that's in here, the lollipop ones, which are my favorite. And if you follow me on social media, every time I go to a restaurant, I'm using it. I mean, I'm, I'm getting it. So yeah, I'm obsessed. I'm sorry, basil. Oh. Parsley. You don't have to put that much because we're going to be putting in the garlic in there. So we're going to do one tablespoon of Dijon mustard. That's mustard. Yeah. Some Worcestershire. 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 Get it up in there. Olive oil. Lemon juice. Oh, you know what? I, this is what I... Smoked paprika. Let's not forget this because it gives it a good flavor. <laughs> That's how you know the seasoning on point. And then we're gonna put some minced garlic. I'm gonna say. There are so many different smells in this pot. Smells good. Get that all mixed up. It was, it, um. Ooh, that smells so good. Steak. Um, smells like steak. A one toss. And. Uh, oh, zoom in on this. Look, look. Zoom in on this flavor. Oh. Listen, cover and put in the refrigerator for okay. at a minimum. Yeah, that's that's good. You can zoom in some more. Again, I mean, for a minimum, put this in the refrigerator for an hour. The max. I mean, I mean, you can do this overnight to be honest, but um, three hours if you can. Then you get a good. Good, um, if you do seasoning. it overnight, you can't do it today. I'm saying for them, if they oh. want to do it overnight, they can't. But yeah, put this in the refrigerator and then we'll come back to sear them. Alright. Today's recipe is really about the um, lollipop lamb chops that I'm going to be searing. But I'm also going to be doing some sauteed spinach and potatoes for our dinner. So I'll kind of like incorporate that in a video so it don't be super super short but these are the ingredients that i'm gonna need for everything i've already put salt and pepper onion powder and olive oil on my potatoes and then these are the ingredients i'm going to be using for my spinach which is lemon juice butter i'm going to use the butter for the um lamb chops too sea salt minced garlic onion powder and then i'm going to cook up some red onions with that spinach but um, here it is here. 
Let's get cooking. All right, we're gonna start off by sauteing our onions. This is optional. Well, I mean, this is what I'm making for my family, so <laughs> I'm just showing you guys what I'm doing, really. And I don't like these big chunks, so I'm gonna be taking these out. Tablespoon inside it, add more if you want to go out of it. This is probably why you should take the easy way to get out of the jar because you ain't got to worry about getting in there. I'm going to add a tablespoon of butter. And then, since I'm going to use lemon juice, I'm just going to squeeze it in here so I can get all that. So use about a tablespoon of lemon juice. Let's We're going to let this cook down. And right here, you can add a little bit of salt and pepper. Pepper at the top. And then we're going to do this. This is perfect. Smell it. It's real tiny. Spinach is good. Watch this little bit of spinach I get out of this. This is the sad part. And that's why I bought two packs. When you start to look like a lot, but when you cook it, it's just so small. I'm gonna let this cook down some more, and then I'm gonna add my second one in there. Look at this. <laughs> it's shrinking. bigger don't listen what I'm what I'm doing right now is a lot like this is really hot but 
I don't feel like. Is that burning your hand? It's you? not burning. I'm barely touching it. It's a little ghetto. I'm gonna add a little bit more butter since I added that second pack. And some more. I'm basically I'm gonna double up what I originally put in there. So let me do that and then we'll come back once it's cooked down. Containers of baby spinach that I cooked down. So this is how you want it. Make sure you taste it. You'll taste it and you can determine whether or not you need more salt and pepper. Uh, butter or lemon juice. This has the perfect flavor for me, so I'm good to go. And I'm going to turn this off and let's get started on the lamb chops. Oh. All right. So depending on the size of your uh, pan, because I'm having to use this one because I threw away my big pan for some reason. Uh, so I'm going to be using this pan and I only put about a half a tablespoon of butter. So you want to coat the bottom of your pan and make sure this is hot. I think it is because we had too much grass on that pan. Or something that stuck on it. Or there's a bunch of grass. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We don't need to know all of our business. This is gonna put a little bit at a time. So give them a nice press on the side. Because I like mine medium layer, I'm going to do them for about two minutes, maybe three minutes on each side um, before I take them off. If you like them more cooked, these are lamb chops. I've, re I've yet to see them <laughs> not medium rare. So if you like them a little bit cooked, Leave them on there for about three to four minutes on each side and then take them off. But I'm going to do mine for about two to three minutes on each side and then um, take them off. I'm just going to flip them over. You guys can see. I want to point something out. So sometimes you'll see this red on the top. On the, you see this, uh, you see this red, right? If you have that, just put it on the side and let it cook. Sometimes you gotta do it on both sides. So this is the end result of my uh, lamb chops. This marinade is so good, you guys. Trust me. Like once you make this, you're gonna understand what I'm talking about. But I'm going to plate this with my potatoes and spinach and come back. This potato. I fried up these potatoes. I put them in some butter, some butter at the bottom of it. I'm going to grate in some Parmesan cheese. Just give them a nice little toss. Taste them to make sure. Not add some more salt and pepper, onion powder. But all right, that is voila. Here is our marinated pan seared mm. lollipop mm. lamb chops. Mm. So you can see mm. that mm. spinach and potatoes, delicious. everything came out so delicious, you guys. You're gonna love this recipe, and of course, you can make whatever style you want. But here it is. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. Get in the comments. Let me know if you tried it, how it came out. Till next time.